are now on our way to Salvador again. And we have with us the whole family. Well, not the whole family, but we have Natalie, cousin Danielle. We have Mamon, yeah, cousin Danielle. Driver. And we're heading to Salvador to go hang out, go do a little shopping, take some photos, maybe the historic part of Salvador. I got my DSLR right now, and we're just on the road. It's about an hour and a half trip from Feta to Salvador, to the heart of Salvador. But it's a lot closer to the beach if you wanted to go to like a closer part, maybe 40 minutes. So it's a little bit of a trek, but it's very, very beautiful. So very lush green on the way down to Salvador. So we're going to go enjoy the city, and I am going to make them take me to Acai Oh, we're going to have Acai Baby. We're going to have Acai That's Baby. That's what I'm talking about. So it's going to be a good day, and we'll see you guys soon. We got a little TV interview going on right here, guys. Look at this. <laughs> we got the uh, camera guy, and we got the guy that's going to go, Oi! Eu sou in Salvador! <laughs> hands up in the air. Ooh, hands hands up. up in the air. Oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh. You are in trouble. Hands what? up. Hands up. You are in trouble. <laughs> hands you bust up. It. You bust it. You are in trouble. Why don't you go to Natalfas? There's some sand dunes there, guys. Huh? Here we are, guys. I have SPF two on. Oh, it's yeah, terrible. That's why when you when you burn, when you get in the sun, your skin darkens itself. That's like a reaction to the damage. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Here's the beach, guys. We're down here at Salvador. Beautiful blue water. Definitely, well, it's similar to Laguna Beach in California, to tell you the truth. It's kind of that nice aqua look. Probably a couple set breaks, you know, a couple bodyboarders out there. But tell you the truth, uh, in Bahia, not too many surfers down here, to tell you the truth. But, not uh, here, but yeah, not here, beach. but yeah, down at the other beaches. Alright guys, so the first time I ever came to Salvador, we stayed at this hotel right here, which is called the, uh, what's it called? I have no idea what she just said, but, uh, no, 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 I'm sorry, we stayed at this one over here, Oth Othron, Oton, Oton, yeah, Oton right. Hotel, this one, great, great breakfast at the Oton Hotel, and reasonably priced, check it out, so you just drive up there, and the hotel's right there. And then this is a cool little area over here, some bomb little pizza joints around the area here. So right here guys, this is the spot right here. All the runners come down and jog this little section of the beach. This would be considered like Huntington Beach, you know, Main Street right here. You have all the little areas where you jog up and down. Uh, my brother and I, last time we came down here, we snorkeled on the other side of the lighthouse, which is over here. And uh, people do zip line against these palm trees over here. And it's a cool little walk back to our hotel where we were. There's like a little cliff you walk by. Anyway, a great acai berry shop down here. And this is a cool little spot. So here we guys, we're on the beach now. We parked our car. Beautiful beach over right down here. This beach sucks. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, for around here, this beach is really nice. Rocks everywhere. So they turned this whole area right here, guys, into a walking path now. Where it used to not be a walking path, but now you can't even drive up and down the street. It's all blocked off for walking. And there is a bomb acai berry shop up here. And then there's people walking around that are selling like hot little food. Local Brazilian food right here that uh, Joom is trying. Oh no, actually no, those, that's a bag of something. <laughs> Never mind. Then we have Cousin Seth over here just chilling. Check it out guys, little sand sculptures here. Feliz 2015 with a horse. Cavelo, y hombre. Uh, I'm not gonna show you the uh, the mulers though. <laughs> Beautiful beach. These guys are uh, have some parachute men right here. Got like a little kite going with some parachute men. Check it out guys, just like New York city bikes. They got rental bikes here, man. Guys, look at this. We got some cool little street vendors here. Some action going on here. And then the name Salvador. Look at that, guys, right there. Salvador with the lighthouse. Just gorgeous here. Gorgeous. Very safe. Again, you can rent, you can rent those uh, city bikes just like New York City. Right up and down here. 
a lot of lot of police so it's really really safe down here you know you can totally have your cameras out tourists are here absolutely gorgeous guys this has improved a lot since the last time I was here there is a dive shop down the street right here if you're interested in diving Salvador right over here and again the acai berry shop is right here so focal point will be the lighthouse here right behind would be this building that looks like it's from Cuba acai berry shop is next door right here and the dive shop is down over here again right here Salvador Salvador all right guys we're gonna enter the lighthouse now this used to be a fort to defend the Salvador area here we're gonna head on in and take a little look here <laughs> This fort has been here since 1534. Wow. Claimed for their king of Brazil in 1501. Wow. Check this out, guys. Absolutely amazing. We're on top of the fort right now. Beautiful, beautiful view here in Salvador. So the first year we came, my brother and I, we snorkeled right through this area here and over here. You can dive over here. Here's a guy snorkeling down here. A couple stand-up long borders over here. And this is a really cool place right here. So I sat here for like an hour snorkeling around these little coves trying to find like rings and change and stuff. It was so awesome. But the dive shop is right around the corner over there. So you just got to walk around. It's either right there or around the corner over there. But uh, definitely, you'll see the dive shop sign though. Some nice beaches here, guys. Look at this view on top of this fort. Absolutely gigantic, man. That's why less tight for the ears. Wow. Guys, look at these walls. Absolutely gigantic. That seriously is probably 10 feet, maybe 10 feet of wall. Right here on the point, guys, Salvador. Guys, check this out right here. I think this is the coolest thing ever. I've never seen this before. This is called the Seafarer's Prayer or like the Seaman's Prayer. And this is it in Portuguese here and here it is right here. I'll get up nice and close. You guys can pause this and go ahead and read it for yourselves. But again, just kind of pause it and then move forward. But I think this is a really, really cool prayer. And I like this one the best right here. All right, here we go. Teach us the lessons of the waves that each of our setbacks drives us forward. I like that. All right, guys, now we're going to go to the top of the lighthouse and check it out. guys at the top baby whoa hey that's why there's ropes <laughs> that's why there's ropes <laughs> Seth Chappelle fell off his hat look at this guys killer killer view <laughs> guys look at Natalie taking a selfie <laughs> taking forever to take a selfie Guys, look at this light right here in this lighthouse. This is unbelievable. In Portuguese, Luis. No, Falo. Falo? Oh, anyway, my Portuguese is horrible. <laughs> and this is how it turns right here. Going on down. Absolutely stunning. Wow. Here we go, guys. Old school right here. This is how it turns. We got our motor here. Just all greased up, ready to go. And it just turns around and around and around. Alright guys, everyone's asleep so I gotta be quiet, but that was only part one. 
part two is coming tomorrow. Salvador was so big and we saw so many things. I'm going to make a part two. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys. God bless you. God protect you. Remember to carpe diem. Live your dream, baby. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for part two. We'll see you then.